Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It's Wednesday, and we're going to start following Kathy around to see what's old for us today. But first, we have another viewer who is supporting the channel by buying us some coffees, and that is Kathy from Kathy's Crafty Corner. Kathy bought us five coffees. Kathy, that's extremely generous of you. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Uh, if anybody else is interested in supporting the channel by buying us a coffee, there is a link down in our description. So I'm going to turn over to Kathy, and we're going to start pulling what's sold today. That was a lot of Kathy's in yeah. one minute. Kathy. Thank you so much, Kathy. That was extra generous. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we're starting on our shoe shelf today. All right. Trying to get everything... Here. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> I see you got your your bins. I've been downstairs working yeah. on the floor. Combine all the bins. It's just this one now. <laughs> These ones are empty. I need to take them out to our little trailer um, where we store extra stuff we don't really need up here. But yeah, just what's hanging in the closet. A couple Lego sets in that bin. That's all I have left to list. That's my death pile. Although now I'm getting nervous. Like <laughs> I kind of like having something that I could just go pull 15 items from when right. I need to. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I'll have to source like, not every day, but a lot more. <laughs> so. You'll probably want to get a little bit of a stock yeah, build up because it's winter and we're going to get some, there's going to be a day when it snows and you're going <laughs> to be stuck at home, <laughs> you right. know? So yeah, I'm excited to like be done with everything I've had cluttering up our space, but also yeah. kind of nervous. So, all right. Um, first so sale of the day are these Crocs like snow boots. These I got just a few days ago at Goodwill for $8.99. They sold for $27.25 plus shipping on eBay. Very nice. And those are going to just ship out in this box because they're just like a weird shape and they don't fit a shoe box, I guess, unless I go like this. Maybe I'll do that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> they'll have to go in this box, which this is my last eBay box of this size, and I kind of don't want to use it for those boots, but I'll try a shoe box in a minute. Um, alrighty, so these are just some men's O'Neill board shorts. These are really cool. I found these at Goodwill for just $3.99, even though they're new at Tag. And um, they have like one of those beer bottle openers like in the pocket and stuff. I thought that was cool. Oh, that's cool. So um, these sold for twenty six eighteen plus shipping on eBay. And I love selling swim trunks in October or well, November. <laughs> November, <laughs> yeah. Um, ship those out in uh, one of these mailers. Yeah, and today's sales are a little bit light, so we will be doing a <laughs> two day video today. Yeah. This is actually going out to our viewer, Michael, another item. Um, he bought this feet, which these are one of those like blanket hoodies. I keep seeing like the ads for them on my Facebook. I wanted to try one, so I bought this off Mercari for myself, but it just did not fit me. It's technically a men's hoodie, but yeah, I yeah. don't like how it looked on me. So I relisted it and then Michael scooped it up for $30 plus shipping on eBay. So awesome. Michael, thank you again. Absolutely, Michael. That's shipping out in this flat box. Thank you so much for the support. All right, CK. This is one of the sweaters from my recent thrift haul. And I honestly, I honestly thought this was a men's when I like bought it. But when I was listing it, I realized it was a women's like turtleneck sweater. So it's that Gizween or however you say that. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but that's the brand on the sweater. It was just like 100% no wool and like yeah. a turtleneck sweater. Pretty basic, but wool stuff does well. And this sold for $36.35 plus ship on eBay. So okay. really good. I had six nineteen into that. So quick and easy flip. That would fit in a 10 by 15. Or no. Maybe. We could probably get it to fit. <laughs> Hold it a little. It's a it's pretty lightweight sweater, but alright, it's box L. Alright, another one of my Harley shirts, this one. Sold for $34.47 plus shipping on eBay, and I have $10.67 into that. That out in just an eBay mailer. Look at this guy over here. Oh, so sleepy. <laughs> I love how he can stretch out more though. Yeah. Alright, AG. Hey, 
these are just a pair of my son's old pants. Sabrina's Junior Cooper. It doesn't even exist anymore. It was one of those small kind of mama handmade type brands. Mm. And I originally bought these off Kittizen for 15. My son wore them a ton to pre-K, so they're pretty worn down. And I sold them for $8 plus ship on Facebook. So making back seven-ish dollars. And he got to wear them for like a year, so happy with that. Okay, box D is behind your head. All right, this is a man's North Face jacket. This was actually Chris's old jacket, and I actually bought this on Mercari back in 2016, probably when I first downloaded the app. <laughs> um, and I paid only $46 all in for it back then. This is like, Mercari didn't used to have a fee when I first started. Um, it was kind of like it's still in its beta days, so. Yeah. Um, that was awesome. So people used to sell stuff a lot cheaper because there was no fees. Shipping was a lot cheaper five years ago and stuff. So anyways, and that was new with Tag when I bought it for Chris. So $46, he wore it for a few years. Then I sold it this year for $49 plus shipping on Facebook. So I'm making back all but maybe like 50 cents. <laughs> so that was awesome. I probably still would be wearing it if uh, I didn't outgrow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say he liked that one. Um, and that will just go in a mailing box. And that's actually going to Colorado Springs. The guy, I woke up to a message. He had already bought it, but then he said, I oh. want this. Where are you shipping it from? So I wonder if he asked the question and then bought it or if he bought it. I don't know. Right. But he already bought it. So I printed the <laughs> label and I'm shipping it. But yeah, he just lives in Colorado Springs. So he should get it tomorrow, hopefully. All right. I was nervous if I said where I'm shipping it from, he'd be like, can I just get yeah. it up? And I don't want to do that. We avoid that at all costs. Yeah. Just a hassle more than anything. Right. Um. Last but not least, I sold my last of the black bras that I have. Um, Third Love is the brand. This sold on Posh for 30 with discount shipping. I have nothing into it at this point, so all profit. And that's been about a year since yeah. you've gone and sourced all that last, Got it was your birthday, birthday, so yep. <laughs> Kathy's birthday is November 16th. So. And she got to go up to the bends a year ago. Year. <laughs> what was that? It was like right around when the sh the lockdowns and stuff eased up, right? 2020. Was it last year then? Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah. Yeah. It was still like crazy with all the extra stuff you had yeah. to do and stuff though. So, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> he <Ooh>. likes me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that will just strip out one of these little Poshmark square boxes. Uh, not Poshmark, but because it's Poshmark, <laughs> yeah. one of these little square boxes. So. All right. So that was... It for today. We'll go ahead and get this stuff all packed up, and we'll see if any other sales come in while we're doing that, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. <laughs> Only took a few minutes to get that all packed up, so no other sales came in for us today. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's all good. It'll pick yeah. up. I'm not worried. It's good. It'll give us enough time to update our board. <laughs> so I wrote my 15s for one and two, but yeah, I need to re-race. 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 Re-race that. And uh, start in yeah. November. So. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start talking about what sold for us tomorrow, which is Thursday. All right, guys, we're back for our Thursday sales. I'm going to turn it right over to Kathy, and we're going to see what sold. Hey, guys. Yeah, I wanted to say thank you really quick to... Um, I don't know if you wanted me to say your name because it came in as like a um as a business it name. As a business yeah. Name, Lisa from Rusty Treasures um, sent us five coffees. So thank you so much, Lisa. I know you're a great viewer and always commenting and on Instagram too, always tagging me and stuff. So thank you for that. Absolutely. It is much appreciated. Sorry, I just saw I made a sale on Posh. I'm trying to delist it really quick to make sure that. It doesn't double I sell. I double sell it in this <laughs> while we walk around and pick some sales. It yeah, literally there. came in just as I started to push record. <laughs> um, so, okay, we should be good there. Let me just find out where that is. We'll pull it first. Okay. Bond Schrager. It's those bike shoes, so BY. Those cycling shoes with the little clips in them, right? Yep. <laughs> so, I probably undersold them, but I am okay with that because... It's my first attempt at selling bike shoes with clips in them. And I still don't understand them. But a yeah. lot of you guys said that those look like the right clips for like people even going to a gym and just like cycling. Yeah, or uh, 
spin site, spin class. Yeah. Right, is a, yeah. So, they're in great shape. I found these at the bins, part of that $50 challenge we're doing with others to see who can get the most profit in the bottom month. What are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> You done? You're making a commotion over there, Reese. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so this is part of that $50 challenge. I think I've sold three items from it now, so one of them will be in this pile today, but I at least have made my $50 back at this point. Those sold, I listed them at 59 on Posh. Someone offered me 35 and I went ahead and accepted because I don't know. <laughs> it's my first time. I don't know if that's too low. I mean, guessing... you're, they're paying shipping too, so they're in it like 40. Yeah, and I was seeing comps 40 to 50 plus ship on yeah. eBay, so I think it's pretty close. You know, I probably could have got a few more bucks, but right. for that challenge, we want to like make money fast too, so yep. I mean, it's a good profit. You know, 35, I make 28. I probably spent, well, cost of goods that day was $1.95, so yeah. Happy with that. That and it was a new experience, like a new thing that you were trying out. So <laughs> and I rather ship on Poshmark than eBay. So yeah, easy enough. And then box A K. All right, this was a cool sale. Well, cool, but also I'm probably undersold this too. These are just my son's childhood's um, pants, but these are like an older one. They don't, they haven't made. Like this one with the little patch, they don't really do that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and also these are 100% cotton and they've, they're still all made in the USA, but they've since started using, in my opinion, crappier quality fabrics and mm -hmm. stuff. So yeah. people are always looking out for like the 100% cotton stuff. Yeah. Anyways, so I think just because those are like an older, it looked like they were from 2017. So four or five years old. Um, but yeah, I listed them high because of that thinking I would take an offer and they literally sold in probably 13 <laughs> seconds after I pushed wow. list. So I sold them for $45 plus shipping. They only cost like 30 bucks new. I actually bought them pre-owned off of the childhood's buy sell trade on Facebook for about 30. So I'm still profiting. My kid got to wear them a lot. So I'm happy, but wonder how much I could have sold them <laughs> for. Yeah. So and then this was another one that sold right away on Mercari today. So. I did my 15 listings. I've already sold two of those 15 in the first day. So um, this is a Slumberkins. It's the Honey Bear. You getting rid of Honey Bear? I actually listed this so long ago, and it was just getting... At the time, Honey Bear was still on the website, which it still is, but now it's only on the website in a bundle with a book and everything, so it costs mm. a little more. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so when I first listed it, I was kind of asking just a few bucks under retail, and people were like outraged <laughs> like literally like why are you selling it for so much so anyways after about three comments like that i just took it down and i was like i'll check back in a month or two and relist it then but um that m a month or two turned into probably six or seven months and i found it in a box recently i had already delisted it I, it was before i used the list perfectly catalog so I see. all my pictures were gone i had to re-photograph it today got it listed and it's all right away um, for more than I probably had it listed for before. Uh, yeah. I listed it at 38 plus ship. Someone offered 33 in a few minutes after I listed. Happy to accept. I probably paid 35 or so originally for it. So making close to 30 back. I'm happy with that and I won't get any questions <laughs> about it. So I will. Yeah. The funny thing is the person who bought it started out by asking a question like i saw that i had a message and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> i guess i'm never gonna be selling this <laughs> item before i read the message and it was just like asking a simple question that i answered but and then they bought it i was like oh my gosh they're gonna be here we go again why are, <laughs> you, why are you selling it for so much <laughs> but yeah right now you can only buy it with the book for like it's only like 45 bucks online with the book yeah. so uh, but it's plus shipping that way too all right and these are just some little baby Sikai run. These are the Target ones, so they cost a little bit less to begin with. I sold them for 15 plus ship on Facebook, and I only had $3.99 into those. Very nice. Really been showing you guys. How I think it's ship, okay but, yeah. just because this this is a two part video. Yesterday yeah. we had about <laughs> 10 minutes of footage, and we have a lot of sales today, so I don't think we're going to be able to show how we're packing our sales yeah. today. Over 20 items. One of our yeah. viewers bought seven or eight items. So, so lots to pull yeah. today. <laughs> Probably gonna need some of that table. All right, back to AK. Where are you? Okay. Oh. Really? <laughs> All 
Okay, this is just a pumpkin face mask. Pumpkin and ginger face mask. Um, I got this in the FabFitFun box, but I wasn't gonna use it. I prefer like those paper <laughs> face masks that you just take off after like 10 minutes. I don't like the ones that you actually have to like, like cream, wash it all off and stuff, yeah. So anyways, I listed it. I sold it for $7.23 plus shipping, so not huge money, um, but yeah. I'll put that in one of our little random boxes. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that FabFit Fun box was the one that I had completely covered by credit. So it's not a huge profit, but I'll take like six bucks. Right. All right, AO. Oh, this is a viewer sale as well. This is going out to Lori. She said she loves to watch and uh, learns from us. So thank you so much, Lori. These are some Merrill mules. Um, I just recently listed these a couple days ago, I think, for, I think I listed them at around 30 plus ship and then sent her an offer, not knowing she was a viewer or anything, but 25 plus ship and she accepted. So Lori, thank you so much. I have $7.99 into those. Lori, thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it. Yes. Alrighty. Um, these are just some Boggs boots. These I actually bought a month or two back for my son for this winter, but they're too small. So I had to resell them. I'll get him the next size up, but I bought them off Kittizen for $38.38 and I sold them on eBay for $45.45. Let's ship this kind of random. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't lose any money. Um, I, I didn't realize I could fit those in a padded flat rate when I bought them, so. I charged the buyer $12.99 for shipping because they were gonna be, they're heavy. They would need to be three pound weight, which this person lives in New York and it would have even cost more than $12.99 to ship them. Yeah. Um, but I tried them in a pad of flat weight and they fit. So Good. I, not losing money, I would have lost a few bucks if I couldn't fit them in there. All righty, Crocs. Um, these are just some Crocs flip flops. I have an average cost of goods this day of $8.96 and they sold for $18.90 plus shipping. So not huge money, but moving them along. Not huge money, but it all adds up. You were saying that yeah, today is our today probably I our best day ever, right? I think today, at least gross sales, is the most, probably even net then. It's not as much net because you're seeing a lot of our kids' stuff sold, yeah. but that's a lot of money back in my pocket. Just those pants I'm making like 40 bucks back, this lumber can I'm making yeah. 30 bucks back. So yeah, I think we're almost in around $800 sales day today. So I'm waiting for one of those $1,000 sales days. <laughs> um, uh, this is just a Lorax plush I got at a garage sale this summer. I have 47 cents into it. Sold for 905 plus shipping. This is another thing where people like to say, wasn't this only $5 right. when you bought it? Yeah, when it was available. Yeah. Not to me though, I didn't buy it at Kohl's, <laughs> I bought it at a garage sale. Yeah, I did get that question on Facebook. I don't know if it was about him, but I've listed all the Dr. Seuss plushes and anytime I list a Kohl's Cares for more than five bucks, people yeah. get a little <laughs> mad about it. So. <laughs> I think they're just trying to get a deal, you know. Yeah, I don't think that person wanted it. I really? think they just wanted to tell wanted me to I'm trying overcharging to throw some shade or something. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, this is just a Ralph Lauren kids button down. This was my son's. I bought it off Kid is in a while back for 11. He got plenty of wear out of it, and I sold it for 9.95 plus shipping on eBay. Hey, box T. This was technically something I bought for Chris and it just didn't look right on him. So I listed it. I paid $6.85 for it and it sold for $27.25 plus ship. So still made some profit and it sold fast. So happy with that. Take right, okay. okay. So these dance go. So this was kind of like a weird size. It's a 43, which was kind of a really big woman's like a 12 and a half 13 which i don't think there's a ton of people that wear that size or like a very smaller men's size so right i wasn't sure how they do but they sold fairly quickly and for i would say more than most of my dance girls do they sold for 50 plus shipping and i had 12.99 into them so yeah even the bigger size dance goes so i've sold men's ones before that are in like 
bigger sizes like men's 11s and 12s which those sold fast but of dance goes or just in of general dance goes oh okay yeah so also like i don't know I just don't see a lot of dudes wearing dance clothes all the time. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't even realize they were a a men's shoe. (laughs) My dentist wears them, but, um... Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't really... I don't know. I don't go to the doctor or hospital very often. Right. They could all be wearing them. I always feel like all our nurses, all my nurses ever wear is Crocs. (laughs) Yeah, my normal doctor wears Rothy's. (laughs) Oh, nice. (laughs) It's weird that is she I in the just for, people's shoes. Is she in the market for a single Rothy? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to ask her next time I go. <laughs> um, so this is just a childhood beanie. I actually got this for free. Um, sometimes they do little promos like spend this much, get a free whatever. So this is free with my purchase recently, and it sold for $11 plus shipping on Mercari. I just listed it last night, so a really fast sale. And that only cost fourteen dollars on Childhood's website, so I was happy with eleven. I'm making nine-ish dollars and change. So, all right. So these Teva Teva snow boots. Did not know they made them. Now I know. They sold well. Um, I had I had paid up for them just because I knew that. I knew that they would do well. The brand, um, yeah. But they sold, I paid fourteen ninety nine. They sold for 45 plus ship. Okay. That was an offer someone sent me, and I accepted on Mercari. CQ. Lacey, what are you doing? You went and, like, fluffed up your right. bed, and then you came over here to lay on the hard floor. Right, and block my bed. <laughs> CQ's over here. Sold these g defects. These always remind me of shape ups. I don't even know if they're the same type of shoe, like Idea, yeah. an exercise shoe. I don't know. Um, but every time I sell them, they sell well. So these I picked up for nine eighty five. Sold them for forty nine plus shipping on um, Facebook. That was awesome. Whoa! <laughs> this is our viewer sale bot. A lot. I'll save it for last, just because it's gonna take up a good chunk of space <laughs> on the table. I'm gonna go to box B. Are some little Vans Shark sneakers. I have 807 into these. I bought them the day with my snow boot haul at Once Upon a Child. So, Once Upon a Child, they technically only sell Vans for like 650. But since I averaged my cost of goods, I have 807 into them. And these ones, someone offered me 20. They've been listed a few months at this point. So I accepted. I'm about doubling my money there. And they are like a baby size infant five, so that's a little bit of a hard sale. So yeah. I was happy to double my money. Plus, yesterday wasn't my best sales day this whole month so far. I mean, it's only the fourth. <laughs> I'm not at my $200 a day goal yet, so yeah. I'm accepting some offers I normally wouldn't. And this is another one. Um, these are some Skechers flats. These have been listed probably six months, though, so I was happy to get any offer on them. Six ninety nine is what I paid for them, and someone offered twenty, so I accepted that as well. Yeah, sometimes, like Kathy kind of mentioned there, when we don't have the sales numbers that we're wanting, we do accept more offers in right. hopes and of like, generating more, you know, activity. And I mean, um, and, and they're fairly good offers. Like these sketches, I probably yeah. expected to sell around twenty five plus ship, and someone offered twenty. So it's not like I'm taking forty dollars right. off. Right, you're not my losing any money, price. nothing like that. You're just right. going a little bit lower than you probably would normally. Yeah, and the whole goal is to make money and move stuff. So yeah, I honestly don't mind making an eight dollar profit. Because I don't really look at it as in I made an $8 profit on that item. I just look at it as in I made $300 profit today. Right. Which I did on all this stuff. So yeah. Probably more than that. All right. These are some Fly London men's shoes. So that's something I didn't know. Kind of like dance skills that made men's shoes. Yeah. But I found these when we were in Nebraska. They're Goodwill. Paid $5.99 for them. And they sold for $50 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent, and I accepted. Yeah, it's been a little while now, though, right? Yeah, I listed them really high. I think that's why. I think I had them listed at 79, mm-hmm. which was reaching, and that was just the first offer to come through, and it was a good one. Sometimes I think you get better offers if you do list kind of high. Not always. I think some people are like, your thing is so high, I'm going to come in so low. But yeah. 
often what I see is like if I list at 80, I kind of expected to get around 50 for them. So I listed at 80. Wow. I could have listed at 50, then I would have gotten an offer for 25. Right, but, right, right. So nobody, if I list them at 50, it's rare that someone's gonna buy them at 50. So at least on Poshmark. <laughs> Um, these are another pair of my son's childhood pants. These ones I bought off Kid is in a while back for 17. He did wear them a ton. They actually have several stains on them, a lot of wash wear and pilling. And so someone offered me 12 on Posh and I accept it. So I'm making back $9, but they are very worn. All right, top shelf, Sorel boots. These ones I just picked up a few days ago at Goodwill. I paid up for these at $19.99, but I listed them at 100 on Posh. This buyer got the offer of, Posh VA offer of 80 with discount shipping and countered at 65. I almost countered back because they're heavy and I knew I was gonna have to pay extra for shipping. Yeah. But they're only one pound extra, so it's only 450, which I've already update, upgraded the label. So 65, I mean like 52 and then minus like 450 for the label. So I was still making like a $25 profit and it was a fast sale and I didn't want to have to ship those on eBay. And yeah. I was just imagining someone in Alaska like buying them and me <laughs> having to pay like $30 to ship them out. So yep, yep, I yep. accepted the Poshmark offer and Smart. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, AQ. I feel like I've been in that box like three times. <laughs> I don't know if this is Civic Pacers or not, but it's just a Broncos polo shirt. I have down that I paid $5.99 for it. I might have bought it for him and he didn't want it or it didn't fit. I don't know. I feel like this is I don't remember something. wearing it, yeah. Right. I just feel like this is not something I would buy at a normal Goodwill yeah. price, but it's sold for $18 on Posh, so making a little profit. All right, last seal going out to our viewer, Christina. Um, yeah, so let's just pull them all. This was, you said that she got seven items from us. I think us. she got eight, actually. Oh, eight. I counted wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go through them. Um, she grabbed oh. the vintage little bunny suit <laughs> that I got from that $50 haul we just did. I love this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's adorable. All right, and then back to AI. This adorable little Eleanor Rose Easter egg dress. And then box R, another Eleanor Rose dress. And this one is just like blue and floral. Great, and then BB. This is a mud pie crab romper. All right, AZ. is a Harajuku mini for Target. Just a cute little plaid romper. Hmm. And AJ. A little Hannah Anderson sleeper. And then CV. A little Janie and Jack romper with floral corduroy. All right, and I think the last one is P, and then I'll count just to make sure. <laughs> All right, this tiny little cute unicorn plush. So <laughs> these items are for her brand new little baby niece that was just born in October. So Christina, thank you so much. Um, yeah, she offered me $170. I think I had them listed around $220, $225 maybe. So $170 was super generous, Very as generous. every offer she always makes is. Yes. Um, so thank you so much, Christina. And she mentioned she's starting pre-med soon, and I'm jealous. And jealous? Not jealous. I'm like amazed. Like, I could never do school. <laughs> like, after my bachelor's, I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> so I, any of you that have master's and above, you're amazing. Yeah. And <laughs> thanks, because we need <laughs> smart people. In need world, people so. to go to school, because I'm not going <laughs> to. Um, so, yeah, 170. And I have 38.64 total into all the things that she purchased. So, 
Awesome. Thank you, Christina. Yes, thank you so much for the support, Christina, and your niece is going to love them. Yeah. Send us some pictures of her <laughs> if she puts on that little bunny suit, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you don't mind. Stay. But, um, and thanks for your service. I know you're in the military and you're going into pre-med and all that stuff. So thanks for all you do for all of us here. So uh, we're going to get this stuff all packed up and we'll be right back. <laughs> all right. We got it all packed up. Kathy's just stacking <laughs> it for a thumbnail pick. It's <laughs> always a... the funnest part of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until it falls over. But Reese just over there mining his business. <laughs> but that's what's sold for us today and yesterday so yeah. <laughs> I don't think we really have anything else to talk about at this point and we are kind of running a little behind to go pick up our boys packing this stuff up took a little bit longer than we were expecting so that's going to be it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching thanks to all of our great viewers and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>